Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time. And today we got a trailer. Eh, we'll see how it goes. Today we're here to watch the IMAX trailer for Dark Phoenix, the newest X-Men film. If you'd like to see this, or possibly, well, I guess it's not the last. But anyways, if you'd like to see this trailer without me in the way, there's a link in the description below. Or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out. Come on back, watch me watch this. And then we'll geek out over together. If it's geek out worthy, it's not that geek out worthy. It should be, but it's not. At least for my taste. Maybe you're way more into it than I am. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. I wish I could be happy about this. You can also get more movie reactions, more movie reviews, more movie madness faster than I can get it to YouTube by checking out the, the uh, Stardust app and looking up the Eric Butts or using the link in the description below. I've been drinking um, vodka and club soda. I'm like halfway through a double here, um, but I thought we would choose some trailers while I do it. That said, I'm probably done reacting to Dark, uh, Dark Phoenix stuff, except we did actually get X, uh, IMAX tickets and I saw it as an IMAX trailer. So I thought, why not? We'll give it one more go. We'll see if I can get hyped for this at all. We're gonna be seeing The Secret Life of Pets and then we'll take a little break, shoot a review of that probably, and then uh, jump over to Dark Phoenix that day. It's gonna be crazy. Anyways, let's watch. And I've liked a lot of the X-Men movies, but- Where is this place? Apocalypse. Welcome to the school for the gifted. Uh, okay. I'm now seeing the beginnings of another stage of human evolution. The truth is, mutants are very real, and they are among us. I don't know if you want to be reminding me of the better movies, though. Here you have the chance to be part of something much bigger than yourself. Forget everything you think you know. You're not kids anymore. Okay. You're X-Men. Oh, but I liked being a man. War is still coming, Charles. And I intend to fight it. You want to shoot me? Shoot me! You ready for this? A new tomorrow starts today. The world is on the brink. She's changing. And what? When I lose control, bad things happen. But it feels good. I like that line. Tell me how we fix this job. I don't know what to do. I'm right. <laughs> I need Timmy for my bungalow. Yeah. The right to fear me. So, you know, they're trying to get y'all hyped with showing you all this stuff, but they're showing you the stuff from like the better movies, like X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men First Class, and I don't know if there's anything from Days of Future Past. And, uh, you know, and, and again, I mean, there's elements of the other films that I've quite enjoyed, but Apocalypse was really boring to watch, and it shouldn't have been. I mean, because Oscar Isaacs is great, but God, that was a tough, difficult thing to watch. It was so typical and dull, and I just get more of the same here. I think the cosmic stuff we'll get will be pretty cool, but I have a feeling that's a short part of it. I do like Sophie Turner as Jean Grey, although it was interesting they didn't show any Fomka Johnson, if that's how you say it, um, in there at all, <laughs> even though they're showing this other stuff. They made me almost think Hugh Jackman was like, pop up as Wolverine for a split second. And I'm like, why would you spoil that? But then I'm like, oh, right. Okay. I see what they're doing here. That being said, I mean, I got tickets. We're going to go see it. You know, I mean, even not great movies I can still enjoy. I mean, maybe it's a chance to eat some more delicious regal popcorn. <laughs> so um, yeah, anyways, that's my thought. I think it's a mistake on their part. I mean, I get it. I get where they're going for, but I mean, you're just reminding me of the better stuff. It doesn't, it makes me less excited for the movie and you barely showed me anything of the new movie in there. Certainly barely showed me anything new and I'm sorry for the jokes, but I was recording video game stuff. So it's kind of the, the mode my brain is now in, but I could not resist the Cornholio joke when she said, are you, are you threatening me? My, I've shredded my voice from video games too, so I can't quite do it right. But anyways, that's my thoughts on this trailer. I'd love to hear yours. So definitely geek out with me in the comments below. How do you feel about this? Are you glad it's kind of over? Are you still totally hyped and on board? That's awesome. Again, I wish I could be more hyped for this, but I was like, mm, okay. But uh, I look forward to hearing what you have to say about it. So definitely geek out in the comments below. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. Check out the Stardust app. Look up the Eric Butts or use the link in the description below. I feel like I've said the word below a lot, so whatever. I'm gonna get out of here so I can go watch some more stuff and say below a few more times. I'll see you all later.